In this video, I'll show you how to model inverse variation. This is part one in the series. Question one reads, if y is inversely proportional to x and y is eight when x is three, find out y when x is 12. To do this question, we'll need to model our equation like this, where we have y is equal to k over x and k represents our constant. So we are given a point and the point is three and eight and they want us to find out what the y coordinate is when the x coordinate is 12. So let's go ahead and solve for k first, then subsequently input k back into the equation and input x as 12. y is eight, k's are unknown, and three is our x. Solving for k, we multiply both sides by three, and if we multiply both sides by three, this three and this three cancel out, leaving us with three times eight, and that is equal to k as 24. Substituting 24 back into our equation, y is equal to 24 over x. Now, substituting this as our x, we end up with y is equal to 24 divided by 12, and y is equal to two. That will serve as our solution for question one. I'll highlight it for you. Question two reads, if y is inversely proportional to the square of x, that's very important, by what factor will y change if x is tripled? To represent this algebraically, we'll say y is equal to k, or constant, over x to the power of two. Square of x is represented as x to the power of two. By what factor will y change if x is tripled? Now to represent x being tripled, I'll write down x prime, is equal to our original x times three. Tripling x means you're multiplying it by three. Rearranging this, we have three x as our x prime. Y prime will represent the change. So I'll rewrite this equation in terms of y prime and x prime. x prime is equal to three x, so I can change this to three x squared. I'll distribute this two to the three into the x where I'm left with k over nine x to the power of two y prime. And if you take a look at the way we set up y at the beginning, I said that y is equal to k over x squared, which is shown right here. I can replace k over x squared with simply y, where I get y prime is equal to one over nine, and remember this part will be converted into simply y. This tells us that if I triple x, my original y will be multiplied by a factor of one over nine. That is how my original y will change. So there you have it. Two examples on how to model inverse variation.